Hi, this is Mrs. Yanka, and I'd like to review with you how to use a Venn diagram to classify numbers in the real number system. So here's a Venn diagram like one that we used in class. Let's take each of the numbers at the bottom of the screen one at a time and place them correctly into the diagram. So starting with the number 5, 5 is a natural number. Remember, those are the counting numbers. So if we were counting something, we would eventually say the number 5. Now by placing the 5 in the Venn diagram where I put it, that means that 5 is natural, it's whole, it's an integer, it's rational, and it's also real. Remember, you don't need to write a number repeatedly in a Venn diagram. By placing the 5 in this spot right here, it is all those different classifications. We need only write that 5 one time. Next, the number 0. It wouldn't make sense to call that a natural number because we do not count anything and say the number 0. However, 0 is a whole number. Again, by placing it in the Venn diagram where I put it at this point, that means that zero is whole and an integer and rational and real. Our next example, negative two ninths. Well, we would not count and say that fraction. It's not a whole number. Now, some folks think it's an integer because they see that it's negative, but that's not true. Remember, integers are of the form negative three, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. This negative 2 ninths is actually a rational number. You can see that it represents a ratio. Now by placing negative 2 ninths in this portion, we're saying it is rational and real only. Those are its classifications. All right, the square root of 5. That is not a counting number. It's not whole, it's not an integer, and if you were to type that into your calculator, you would not see a decimal that terminates. You wouldn't see anything that repeats with a nice pattern. So this belongs over in the irrational category. And again, by placing this number over here, we are saying that the square root of five is irrational and real. We only need to write it once. Now, don't be fooled by this one. This is three and 14 hundredths. Or if it were money, it would be $3.14. It's not something we would count with. It's not whole. It's not an integer. Some folks want to put it over here because they think it's pi, but it's not. That is a terminating decimal, 3 and 14 hundredths. That makes it a rational number. So it is rational, and it's also real by placing it here in the Venn diagram. The negative 25, that is not a natural number or whole. That would fit under the category of integer. Again, we're writing it just one time, and placing negative 25 over here means it's an integer, and it's rational, and it's real. Finally, probably the most famous irrational number, the one that everyone likes to talk about, pi. Um, that is an irrational number, and by placing it over here, we are saying that it is irrational and real. If you look at pi, it does not terminate. There's not a repeating pattern. So that's a friendly reminder of how to use a Venn diagram to completely classify real numbers. And one more time, we only need to write each number once. Where we place it helps classify it completely. Thank you.